Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Um, before we get started with the pour tonight, I wanted to show you some of the um, dried results I have. This has not been um, resined yet, but it certainly will be. The only thing I noticed was I did put, I did thin out the um, permanent violet red, and it, there was a little bit of dendrites happening here, but I don't mind them at all. But uh, this one turned out really cool. I'm so happy. This is the Nikki Hussey um, inspired piece that I did. And this is the one I did on my last one. It dried super dark. Um, I don't really care for how dark the um, reds and oranges turned. So this might um, see a different, um, it might have another life. <laughs> I'm just, I, it was something I wanted to try with the prism colors and um, it's just a little bit too dark. So, for our pour tonight, we're gonna do straight pour. I have Modern Masters in Pearl, mixed with a, a little bit of um, Golden's Iridescent Pearl. And all of my paints are mixed with uh, Floetrol, GAC 800, and some Liquitex pouring medium. This is a combination, no, I don't know if that's a combination, no. This is um, Hebio Iridescent Blue Green, which I usually use the green blue, but I wanted to do this one tonight. This is Amsterdam, oh, this is thick. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to thin this out. Amsterdam. Um, permanent Violet Blue. And this is our Artist Loft um, Metallic Cobalt Blue. And I added a little bit of the Golden Turquoise Thalo to that. So these paints are pretty thick. I want to do, I want to try and get a, a good ring pour going or straight pour with a lot of definition on the lines. Now this is going to be my flow extender. It is drips from previous pours and I just kind of tweak the color a little bit. There is a little bit of satin enamels in here and there's a little bit of um, deco art metallics and also I tinted the color with uh, the turquoise thalo which I'm really loving that color. So there may be some effects happening out here. Now let me see if I can find a pair of gloves. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, yeah, I, I can't even get my, my nails clean anymore, it seems. And I've got to start wearing gloves because I'm going to be going back to work pretty soon. And we have grooming standards at work. So I don't think paint under my nail nails will go over very well. So I like these gloves because they are tight, but they're kind of hard to get on. I bought them at Am on Amazon, but uh, I go with the mediums. So this is a 24 by 24 inch canvas. It is taped and pinned, push pinned, and it barely fits on my work surface. And I am going to get out an 18 ounce cup. I have 20 ounces of paint here. It takes 21 ounces, but I'm gonna be using a lot of flow extender around the outside. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I really don't like to start with white because that's what happened last time. I put the teeniest amount in and it just like bloomed. So I'm gonna start it off with a little bit of the, um, that turquoise mix. Then I'm gonna go with my white. And that's probably too much, darn it. Can't take it back now. <laughs> And I'm going to go in order. I really like the turquoise next to the purple. So I have two different kinds of turquoise. And back to the, a little bit, not lots. And more of this. And more of this. Whoops. I dripped. And. Oh my, I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of, um, I 
ran out of the, um, oh shoot, I'm running out of paint. All right, um, note to self, always mix more paint than you need to. <laughs> It's going to be okay because I do have, like I said, a lot of flow extender. I'm going to put the rest of the white in. So there's not even, hmm, I wouldn't even say there, there's um, it's about 15 ounces there. So anyhow, we're going, to, we're going to go for it. So I'm going to go right in the center. And whatever I put in the bottom of the cup is what's going to come out last. all that white that's the part that I put too much in there we go just have to fix this up a little bit Well, that's a small little puddle there um, for a big canvas like this. I, I don't have any 20 by 20s. I had 16 by 16s and 24 by 24s. So let's um, make this work. You know, I'm going to torch it first before I put the um, little extender around. looks thick. I have lots and lots and lots of it. It's pretty color though, eh? There we go. So, if I don't tip the whole thing off, I'm fine with that. It's a really pretty cup. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Anyhow. Alright, let me get my spatula out start spreading this around. I want to get it right up to the edge. I think this is going to be, turn out really pretty. I really do. There was um, a painting I did when I first started pouring and I didn't like the pour. So what I did was poured another cup I had stretched the bejeebas out of it. So um, when I ended up um, pouring the other one over top, it looked like a hurricane. And it even had a little part of Florida up here. <laughs> so I ended up calling it Dorian because we had that one storm Dorian that came through. And uh, it, was per it was snapped up pretty quick. But um, it was one of my favorites. It just had such a cool color it's in the center. It almost looked like a um, a Doppler radar kind of look to it. And all these different colors. Okay, so I, I've got enough paint on the canvas. That's good. See, I told you I'd, be, I'd make it work. <laughs> I see some cells coming up here. That's cool. That white is kind of um, worrisome. stretch this, I'm likely going to get some effects, which um, is kind of what I was going for anyway, so 
just giving it a minute to um, to develop a little bit. So where do I want to go first? I put way too much of this in, of the um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue in at first. So that's all that there. I really love this here. And I really kind of like this here too. So I'm gonna just start rolling it around slowly. Because the paints are so thick, it's gonna roll slow. Maybe not as slow as I thought. I find I'm able to keep the composition better when I um, go around in circles. Wow, there's a really cool shimmer to this um, flow extender. Yeah, my flow extender was a tad um, thick. Rolling it around, letting the paint go where it wants to. Boy, that iridescent um, pearl is really, really super pretty. Boy, that was a tiny puddle. I can see some effects happening already towards the edges. Let me pull this this way a little bit. Oh, it went over the edge, darn it. It's not what I really wanted. Once you catch the edge, it, it's, it's kind of where um, it wants to go. See, I'm gonna have like a funky, a funky look to this now. Funky shape. I am kind of glad about the the pearl because this painting's probably gonna dry pretty dark, and it's nice to have that um, that contrast. I'm not gonna make sure I get enough of it off because I don't want it cracking. But I did put GAC 800 in everything, even the um, flow extender, so it should be okay. Oh, pretty, now I'm really liking it. I may leave some negative space, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of let the painting dictate that. Let me see if I can get it off that corner. Okay, lesson learned, which <laughs> there's always a lesson to learn. Make sure your flow extender is um, thin enough. I don't mind going slow though, I really don't. It's kind of soothing. It's really windy out here again tonight. Yeah, I should have put more water in the flow extender, but it's okay. It's turning out pretty cool. 
it's off that corner now. I'm gonna bring it back to center. Guys, I'm really liking this. Um, they're all my favorite colors, so that's kind of cool. Bring it to center, and then I'm gonna try and go off Oh, I see some effects happening down here and over there. Then I'm going to take it down here. Let's see if you guys can see this. And I'm going to, whoa, slower, slower, Michelle. Take it off this corner. Love that purple the purple and the turquoise together <gasps> loving it so funny when you're doing this it's like you got to keep an eye on the rest of the painting too it's like, okay don't forget about us bring it back to center I love these colors. Love, love, love them. Oh my gosh. All right, let me sit here and take a look at it. something in here of course but it's not a bug where is it where is it no I can't see it oh now I found it So some of my cells up there are a little wonky. I don't know, I think I might try and take them off. Open the rest of it up a little bit. Ooh, nice. That purple is hitting the corner now. Beautiful. I love color. I just love color. And I love that. Oh, I love I love paint pouring. It's too much fun. You always have kind of an idea of what you want. Oh, and I see something else over here. See, you can tell when something's in your paint. Whoopsie. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, dang it. When you have things like this, it's dragging. See, there it is right there. And I should have found that sooner, but I didn't. Yeah, you can see the effects coming up too. 
So it's kind of like a cloud pour, but not. <laughs> oh, this is too cool. All right, I think I might leave it, guys. I might fudge around a little bit with some of these over here, but the, everything's kind of lacing up around the edges, which is exactly what I was looking for. You know what, this doesn't have, uh, I'm not gonna sacrifice it for the rest of the painting. Oops. Pretty. Pretty cool. All right, I really like that light color up here. That's the pearl right next to the uh, greenish blue, or blue green. Blue green. I, uh, I think I see of dust or hair. Could be a kitty hair. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this for a few, for a little while. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to put you, uh, whoops, things are falling over here. I'm going to put you on time lapse just to see if there's anything that does change. Um, I really like it. I really do. I'm pretty happy. Maybe I want to take it back just a little bit more here. Yeah, I do. See, we're never done when we say we're done. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. Just the way it goes. Okay, I like that better anyway. It kind of unwonked, unwonked my cells. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, guys. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going on break now, so I will put you on time lapse and have fun watching this develop. Oh, I gotta get make sure I got all this water off my hands. I don't want to drip in it. All right, I'll be back. Here it is. Oh my Lanta. I had no idea it was gonna react this way, but check it out. Look at that lacing. So that was just the drips from previous pores. It just happened to be the pores were um, cloud pores. And I just fudged around with the colors that isn't that beautiful and it's look at that shimmer that's from the gold and I also put some um, uh, Liquitex um, look at that I love it um, Liquitex iridescent pouring medium in there so most of the shimmer is here on the outside me likey so it's actually it turned out better than I thought it would. Um, I'm really loving the lacing that's all along the outside. Look at that right there. I can barely reach, guys. It's so funny. I'm like, oh, I hope I don't drop the phone. So, let me know what you think. I'm really partial to these colors. I love turquoise and purple next to each other. And um, I'm glad I put the, the pearl showed up like it did because it really gives it some contrast. So leave a, leave a little note in the comments if you'd like. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please be safe and create.